Hello. That was a combination of hi and hello. Hello. This is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Happy Monday evening to you. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. What is up with me tonight? Hi. We are hanging, making a sign with this awesome gather piece. All right. We're going to be doing a bunch of new techniques, which I'm very excited about. Um, so make sure that when you hop on that you say hello, because this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. We're doing something, two new brand new things, two, two new techniques. All right. So make sure, hop on, say hey, tell all your friends. All righty. This is going to be really, really cool. So tonight we're using, like I said, two new techniques, um, one involving a lighter. So Bob's like, oh, great, I'm going to go hang out for the last time in the man cave before we burn the house down. No, it's not going to happen, I promise. I've already tested it, sort of. <laughs> so fingers crossed it goes well. Okay, so we're going to use the new burn technique. And then the other technique we're going to use is using a wax candle to get like a chipboard look, okay? So it's going to be very, very fun. So like I said, say hello when you hop on. Hi, Mom. Um, is it okay? Is it blurry? Can you see me? Can you hear me? All those things because I know the past few weeks it's been a little weird. So just let me know. Okay. So first things first, we're just going to do some housekeeping. Um, and I'm just going to cut off. So the gather comes with, so this comes from the Dollar Tree. They're so nice. I actually just got this one. Um, our Dollar Tree just restocked, which was super cool. They have gather and thankful. And then at Christmas time, they have um, merry and peace. They're so awesome and they're great quality, in my opinion, um, especially for a Dollar Tree item. So I'm just going to cut the um, string off because we don't need it. All right. Okay, thanks, Mom. All right, so I'm just going to trim this up. Here we go. All right, so we're using this gather. We're going to use... Oh, hi, Krista. Thanks so much. Um, all right, and then we're going to use two of these... Um, Pumpkin cutouts, I also get them in a pack from the Dollar Tree. And then we're using um, this board, which technically was a hanging board from the Dollar Tree. Um, it said beware on this side. And I literally just took a piece of um, the brown paper that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Like, um, oh my gosh, that, I use it as wrapping paper because I think it's super cute. It's just, it's just brown wrapping paper. Uh, I took a piece of that and covered it. Um, and that was actually going to be the back because you can still kind of see the word beware. But I like how um, messy and wrinkly it is. And I think I'm going to use that as our base because that'll be fun. And then you've got a nice clean back. And look at that. And I mean, it's a little floppy, but once we put this big gather on it, it's going to be great. All right. So first things first. Um, well, we already did first things first. We did this. Um, we're going to quickly clean up with our little. I love this thing. This little. This is a mini desk. This is a desk vacuum. I use it. I use it more than any type of vacuuming. Uh, <laughs> let's be real. Bob vacuums. Um, I'm so lucky. Bob does like everything. Bob does like everything. Okay. So let's paint this first. So, well, let me chat with you about this. So we're going to use napkins on our gather and that's what we're going to burn away sort of. Um, so this is black and white, obviously. So I'm trying to decide what I need is a base color. And then I need a color that we're going to paint on top and chip away, essentially. All right. Oh, and I forgot my, um, my, oh, my mat that I, that I paint on. So how's everybody doing tonight? What's up? How was your Monday? Monday was Monday. Monday is always Monday. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody love Mondays? Let me know in the comments if anybody loves Mondays. I'm a pretty positive person when it comes I went to stop and shop today and the guy at the deli he's like I wish I had your attitude and your positivity <laughs> I'm like I'm just getting pastrami but thanks um I would consider myself a pretty positive person but you know life happens but I don't love I don't love Mondays I don't love going back to work you know I haven't um I have not worn my apron in a while I don't know mom totally forgot um, my juice cleanse. Yes, I am putting together a video review. I need to finish that. Hello. Um, the juice cleanse was interesting. Um, I'll tell you about it in a second. I just want to pick out some colors. I really like blue with this. Um, 
So this is a fall project, obviously. I've got this gorgeous like cotton blue. Is that what this is called? Blue cotton. All right, I love this. Um, so I'm thinking I might use that. But then what do I use as a secondary color for the chipboard part? You know what I'm saying? Does anybody have any ideas with this cotton blue? Should have planned this ahead of time. Hello. Um, although I could use this. This color could be the color underneath. Let's try that. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do really quick, and I'll get back to the juice cleansing, I promise, is this is just a wax candle. I got a pack of four from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna rub it all over. Well, not entirely all over. Um, oh, I like the idea of the gray. I like the idea of the gray. I have like three different grays here. Hold on. We've got pewter gray. Oh, I don't like pewter gray. Is that pewter gray too? I don't like pewter gray. I like this light gray I have, country gray. This is nice. Uh, maybe we'll combine those. Um, so I got this votive candle from the Dollar Tree, pack of four, and I'm just gonna rub it in different areas, okay? Not, not, all right, just kind of like, we've done something similar to this um, with Mod Podge, but all right, so we're gonna use, hmm, we're gonna use gray on the bottom, all right? So I'm just gonna do this all around. So as I'm painting, I can tell you all about the juice cleanse that, and I promise I will finish my review video. I did, um, like every day I talked about how it was going, um, and you know, just tried to be real about it. Oh, this was way too much paint. Goodness gracious. Um, so it went, it didn't go exactly as I thought it would. Um, I didn't feel very cleansed during it. Okay. But I did afterwards and I lost six pounds. So I will tell you, I didn't feel like I lost six pounds. So like when I, when I weighed myself, cause that was not the purpose. The purpose was to feel better and cleansed and, um, you know, so, and, you know, I wanted it as a juice cleanse. So the point was not to lose weight, but I lost six pounds. Um, the juices were delicious. I absolutely loved the juices. Um, you drank five of them a day. So I never ever felt like I was missing out or anything. Um, yeah, right, Krista? I was not expecting to lose, I really was not expecting to lose that much weight, like maybe a couple of pounds, um, especially because it didn't quite go as I thought it would. Um, and I didn't feel like I was cleansed during it. Um, the cleansing effect did come a little bit afterwards, if I'm being honest, I'm not going to share too much about that, but just throwing that out there. It, so it probably does take a little while to kick in. Um, I only did the three day just because that's all I could commit to. Um, and I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I only did the three day cleanse. Um, and so the effects definitely kicked in after day three. So if you're doing a longer cleanse, I definitely can see how it might work a little bit better. Um, so I just did a coat of the gray. Um, I store my paints upside down now. So they're all like ready to go. Um, little trick I learned from someone I watch. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I guess it went well, to be honest. Um, if you did it longer, you definitely would feel more cleansing effects. Um, I super enjoyed all the juices. I will say I did the, um, the just regular squeeze cleanse. Uh, there is a secondary option called the super squeeze, and they recommend that for people who've squeezed before and who have commonly um, used, oh, whoops, included vegetable juice in their diet because it's primarily vegetable juice as opposed to the higher fruit content, which was in the one I did. So I will tell you, um, it was very fruity. That's why it was so good. It was like super, um, I mean, I was, it like the morning one tasted like, like sweet beets, but like in a great way. Uh, <laughs> I really liked it. Like I would drink them again. I have to say. Um, and I, you know, I thought about the price point and I, and actually, when you do the math, it's not a bad price. Um, and so I'm gonna do like a final follow-up video. Maybe, I'd be, maybe I'll even film it after this, we'll have to see. Um, Cause I still need to do my final like thoughts on it. It's been so busy. Um, oh, I just realized I did the wax underneath this and I didn't need to. The wax was supposed to go on top of this one. But anyway, um, so I'm just gonna take a scraper and scrape it off and it's gonna get chippy. Oh, this is cool. This works really well. Um, so yeah, so I will do 
my, I will upload the final video with all my thoughts on the squeezed juice cleanse. Um, but I did like it. I definitely liked it better than that three day diet Bob and I did. I do, um, because I didn't have to eat all the tuna. I just don't love tuna without anything with it. I'll eat the beets and that are included in it and all the other stuff. It's just the tuna um, that I just don't like. All right, here, let me show you this. And you can't really see the beware, which makes me happy. So see how it's just kind of chippy? All right, so we're gonna do one more layer, okay? I've got paint, ooh, paint, paint paper towel, yay. I've got it all over me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in because I don't need it anymore. And now, same candle again. We're going to do one more layer. But yeah, so thanks for asking, Krista. But I will post a video so y'all can see it. Um, it's really cool. So how was everyone's weekend? It was gorgeous outside. We swam. Bob is teaching me to swim. I'm having so much fun. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Although, we've been swimming outside. And I think... We're just about done with being able to do that because I think it's going to be much colder this weekend. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to swim outside. I'm going to have to join the Y with him so that I can swim in a pool. All right, put this cotton. So this is, so that was Country Gray by Apple Barrel and this is Blue Cotton by Apple Barrel. All right. All right. So now I'm just going to paint a coat of this. Oh, I love the gray and the blue. Great suggestions, everybody. Um, hey, I see lots of people hopping on, so make sure that you say hello. We're just chatting. We're doing two new techniques tonight. Um, and again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're doing um, the technique where we use the wax to make it look like a chipboard or chippy board. Um, and then we're also going to be using a lighter to help trim our excess napkin off of our... Um, this off of our piece. This is like a TikTok thing I heard, um, but I don't have TikTok. So I saw it. It finally hit Facebook. So me, who's out of date. Oh, I just painted on my desk. Whee! Um, so me, who's totally out of date and doesn't have the ticky tocky because I don't know even know how to use it, um, finally saw it. And I'm like, oh, we can try this, right? And Bob is like, okay, well... I'll go enjoy my last night in the man cave before the house burns down. But no, it will not. Ah, uh, yeah, so Julia, you're the one who made me think of it. So thank you so much. You mentioned it with TikTok. And I was like, oh, I need to check this out. And then I saw it on Facebook and I said, you know what? We need to do this. So we're doing it. So thank you. Do I have a fire extinguisher? Mom, I promise it's not that bad. I did try it earlier when I covered this piece with the, the wrapping paper. I actually tried it on the edges of this. It definitely does not work well with a thicker piece that you're Mod Podging. It works much, much better with um, thin stuff. Like we're gonna use a napkin, or if you wanted to use tissue paper, that works much, much better. So just a note. So what I'm loving here is that the wall, the wallpaper, yeah, okay. The, um, the paper that I Mod Podged on here to cover up the design from the Dollar Tree sign is all wrinkly and stuff. So it totally goes with the whole, theme rustic -y theme oh this is so good i'm gonna do it in a, this way so it kind of looks like a piece of wood like wood grain oh this is so good i love this so stinking cool and you can kind of like you know do more in areas where you want more all right this is up to you i mean i love rustic you know me so, all right, so what's up, everyone? How are you? Um, what you? What have you been up to? Look at that, isn't that cool? And it looks like it's all chipped and it's like a piece of wood. I think that's cool, I hope you do too. Okay, I don't know what that was, but we are ready to go tonight. I don't know why I'm so excited and hyper. I don't know, I really like my shirt, so maybe my shirt's making me excited, I'm not sure. We're gonna let this dry, we're gonna set it aside, okay? Okay, here we go. And now let's take care of our items that are going with it. Is Bob on? Is Bob watching, Mom? I didn't even know. Hey, Bob, if you're watching. Ah, I can't see anybody on my phone again. I can't see if, like, when people... Oh, sorry, that was, like, a real close, like, hey, everybody. Oh, now I can. Oh, maybe now they're going to start popping up. Oh, yay. I couldn't see anybody coming on and all of that, and now I can. Yes, awesome. 
Because you know you're loved. Is that why you're excited? You know, Bob? You're so cute. You're so cute, Bob. I love you. I know. Get a room. I know everybody. But that's just how we are. We're disgustingly cute and you like it. Right? Right? I hope so. Okay. I'm going to clean off my little scraper here. Put the scraper away. All right. Should we? Shall we try it, everyone? Should we do it? Should we get to this part where we're going to burn stuff? Bob, we're gonna we're gonna burn down the house. Here it comes. Okay, get ready. Fire extinguishers in the other room. We can do this. It's gonna be great. I'm just kidding. Ah, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Okay. So, one napkin won't fit this. Obviously, Bob, be on standby. Bob, is that why I can hear you laughing? <laughs> Um, I can hear him laughing from downstairs. So, of course, one napkin doesn't fit because I got the mini ones. So we're going to have to use two, which is fine. I thought about painting this ahead of time. But you know what? I think it's going to go with the brown color that's showing through. So I think we're not going to. Um, so I need some Mod Podge. Now, I heard, excuse me, from someone that I was watching this, that it works better with... Um, a glue stick but I've done it I've seen it done with Mod Podge and I tried it with Mod Podge earlier so we're gonna go with Mod Podge this is a two ply napkin so I'm just taking off the one extra layer all right so what's up everybody are you excited to burn with me we're gonna burn this napkin up I'm super excited what's everybody doing has anybody seen the new Dear Evan Hansen movie yet so random that I just brought that up. Has anybody seen it yet? Also, oh, um, Mom, you mentioned the Tonys around last night, and then you were like, no, it's not the Tonys. I think it was the Tonys. Did anybody watch the Tonys last night? I meant to mention that to you, Mom, earlier. Okay, come on. Let's do this. I painted my nails, and I wanted to show you guys because they came out all pretty and stuff, but um, now they have paint all over them. <laughs> See? They're pretty, aren't they? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on. The other one came apart so easily. What's everybody up to on this Monday night? Are you trying to tear a napkin in two like me? Or are you being normal and doing normal people things? Oh my gosh. Um, you know what I feel like? I feel like this is... Tell me if you can relate. This is like trying to open the, the bags at the supermarket that you put your produce in when you had a mask on during COVID. Well, now that we don't still have COVID. But when you wear a mask to the supermarket and you can't lick your finger. That's what this is like. That's what this is like. I think we've got it. We've got it. It's good. Yes, it was. So, so, No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're watching a movie anyway. I'll have to just watch the highlights on the YouTube. All right, so I'm going to have to use two and line them up super amazingly. And we'll see if that works. I'm using a, a not-so-great brush with Mod Podge. Remember, you don't want your things to be ruined. Um, I'm going to work in pieces, okay? I am not going to do this uh, work in sections. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? We are not going to do this all at once, okay? So I'm just going to do some letters at a time. I'm just going to work in nice little sections, okay? It's going to be great. So we're just going to do half the words. Just I'm getting Mod Podge everywhere. I'm just going to work in some sections at a time, okay? So there we go. Got the first three letters, good to go. I'm going to lay down my nap, my first napkin. We've got plenty of napkins, so don't worry. All right, I'm just going to press this down. You know me, I don't care about the wrinkles when I Mod Podge. I think it looks cool, so it doesn't bother me. You can touch a cut. What happened here? Just touch a cold, cool. Hey, that's mom. That's a good idea. All right, listen to my mom. That's a genius idea. Okay, turn this back. Then we're going to put the rest of the Mod Podge. So it's much easier if you do this in sections. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. You know what I'm saying? All right, we don't, we won't, I don't think I'm going to do a top coat on this. So actually, I don't know, maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. How many times do I change my mind when I do this? Right, guys? I'm telling you. Oh, okay. 
Oh yeah, so I was at the supermarket today and I got pastrami because I'm making that Reuben slaw that I love that we love making tonight. So I, I've been trying to really like find good keto recipes because I can only make you know the same thing so many times and I don't want to make the same things all the time. You know what I'm saying? So if you have any good keto recipes, let me know. Tonight I made a beef, broccoli, and cheese um, like casserole. I don't know. It was really good. Um, tomorrow night, <laughs> not so low carb. I'm gonna make pumpkin ravioli. But I'm going to use wonton wrappers so that way it's a little bit, um, oh, hold on. That way it's a little bit lower carb than using pasta. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm just trying to line up my napkins so that way you don't see too much of a gap between them. I mean, you're definitely going to see it, but it is what it is. Hi, Kristen. How are you? All right. So guys, we are almost ready to burn. It's going to happen. We're gonna burn in a great way. We're gonna, oh, I just ripped my napkin. Bethany, this is why we have to Mod Podge on top because I rip it. You know what, it's okay. It is what it is. All right, so really quick before we do that, I'm just gonna poke on the inside. Where else on the A? They have, so that we can burn it in a second. All right, are we ready? Is everybody ready? We've got the lighter. I'm excited, okay? Who's ready? Hi, Barbara. Barbara, we're about to burn. We're about to burn things. Are we ready? Are we excited? Who's ready? You have to tell me you're ready. I'm not doing this until you tell me you're ready because I need people to be ready with me because we're going to burn some stuff here. Mom's not ready. Okay. I need someone to say they're ready. Come on. Yes. All right. Oh, we should probably tear off some extra. Hold on. We don't need this much to burn. Hold on. Hold on. Getting ahead of ourselves. We're not going to burn that much. Hold on. Let's trim. How are you going to put the fire out? No, it kind of puts itself out, Mom. Don't worry. Mom's like really nervous about this. Mom, don't be too nervous. It's not that bad. I promise. I promise it's not that bad. All right, Kristen's ready. Tie my hair back. I know. All right, are we on? Is this thing even on? Nope, hold on. Oh, come on, I just did this a second ago. What's going on? Up. Oh no, am I out? Am I out? Come on. Crud O'Malley. Hold on. I can't tell what's positive. This is positive. Uh-oh. Bob, I may need another lighter. You are kidding. This is not the time for this to happen to me. I was just using it. Bob, I need help. Okay, hold on. I have to find another lighter. I have to find another lighter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Hold on. Bob. Bob. You have a lighter? Oh, he has a lighter. He said he has one. We were all ready. I'm sorry. Thanks for staying with me as I run around my home. He's coming. He's going to save the day. He's going to have one of those lighters I don't know how to use with the scariness. Bob's got a lighter. Okay, hold on. I don't know how to, how do I do this? All right, there we go. It's working. Well, that's a big fire. Oh, God. We're good. Didn't cut enough off. Hold on. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Did anybody just see that? Did anybody see that? When 
Unfortunately, I did. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Hold on. Let's try it again. Nothing happened. I know. Mom's like, oh my God. I'm going to hold it low. Here it goes. Can everybody see it? Do you see how this look, cool this at, is? Look at the computer. I'm going to tell you. Oh, yeah. See. Look at that. It just burns it right off for you. Isn't that so cool? And then it just puts itself out. I don't know. I think I'm doing this a little bit more intensely than I think most people do, but it's working. Bob is supervising. How cool is this? Bob is sweating his ass off. Bob is sweating his ass off. Hold on. We keep it low when it's a big burn. This is so cool. This? Yeah, I will. Oh, it's going to go down the E. Look at that. It's going down. It just keeps going around the gather. This is so cool. All right, we've got to do it again. I'm just excited that I know how to use one of these lighters now. I never knew. All right, almost done. Going down the T. All right, a little bit more. Here we go. Going down the G. It's going to be a big burn. Don't use all of my liquid because I need it for the pot. Bobby Sosa. Ooh, it just burns the G out for us. All right, and now I'm just going to pop, pop a hole there and there so we can burn out the middle. Do it from the other side. What do you think? Yep, perfect. Just going to get that middle done of these little places. We're doing this, does your dad? I know. <laughs> Krista goes, don't blow on it. I know, I'm like blowing on it like that's going to help. All right, got that middle out. Got the middle of the T and the H out. Got the middle of the A out. And then we're just going to poke the middle of the G out. And we're done. And it looks awesome. I like it. That was pretty cool. Whoa, we got, we have ashes everywhere. I think, thank you. So here's the lesson. Does it, it does smell like fire in here, but it's fine. Um, so here's the thing. I left too much on. Oh, it's floating. I left too much. Um, my mother's going to like kill me. I left too much of the napkin on. So it created too much fire. Just going to vacuum up my ashes. It's fine. We're fine. It's great. I love the smell of fire. So that's, you know, secretly that's why we did this, right? Just vacuuming up the ashes. All right. So cool. I'm just going to take so some of the, again, like some of these areas where I did not, did, I did not do it correctly. So this is a user error, not a technique error. Um, check your clothes and your rug. How cool was this though? We just burned stuff. I think that's cool. I know people are freaking out, but I think it's cool. Like I said, this user error, I left too much tissue paper or whatever napkin on. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these charred edges. <laughs> some of these charred edges. Because we just burned stuff. How cool. Yeah, that was intense. I quite, I quite like that. I thought that was really cool. All right. And I think this looks... Really cool. What do you think? Do you like the checkerboard? I like it with the brown underneath still. I think it's really rustic. I think it's really cute. I'm a fan. I'm just gonna vacuum up our our ashes again. Our leftover napkin that came off. All right. Nothing is on fire, so we're good. Living on the edge, that's right. That was very cool to watch. Glad you were okay. Me too. We had a little moment there where it went on the clothes. We don't have a hole in the clothes though, so we're good. This was user error though. Don't do not do this at home unless, you know, you're ready for it. I was ready for it. I like this kind of stuff. Um, that was really fun. All right, so the gather is done. The burning is over. So my plan is to just, we're going to put it right up. Oh, how pretty do those colors look together? Oh, I love that. Okay. I'm just going to let that continue to dry a little because I just stuck my hand in it and it's still wet. 
All right, we're gonna set that aside to cool. <laughs> and we're gonna paint our pumpkins. So we've got this gorgeous blue color. We've got the gorge this color. Now I'm thinking an apricot for our pumpkins. What do y'all think? An apricot pumpkin and what do you think of like a light yellow pumpkin? Is that too crazy? I mean, I know we just burned napkins. So I mean, crazy is really, we've already, we're past crazy. Crazy was here and we're there. Um, but what do you think of like a, hmm, a light yellow napkin? Like maybe a, this is pale daffodil. What do you think of our nap, these two colors for our pumpkins? I'm definitely going to do the apricot, but what do you think with this color? Or should I do like a, should I stick with more neutral color pumpkins and let the blue be the only color? What does everyone think? What color should we do for these pumpkins? Because we've got the nice cotton blue. Should we continue with some colors or should we do more like, should we do black and white pumpkins? <gasps> should we do black and white pumpkins? Ooh. I think I like black and white pumpkins. Please hold. I finally rearranged all my paint so they're all in like an actual order now. All right, we're gonna do black and white pumpkins. It's gonna happen. I have this pavement black. No, we're gonna use real black. We're gonna use real black. All right, yep, okay. I'm gonna get a little tray because I didn't get myself a plate. All right, I think we're gonna do, sorry, mom. I think we're gonna do black. I had, the, I had a moment where I, I really wanna do the black and white pumpkins. We, oh, we could do black and white pumpkins with polka dots. We're gonna do one with polka dots. Yep, it's gonna happen. Okay, hold on. We have this little thing to do polka dots with. Yep, okay, it's gonna happen. So let's do a little bit of white on this one. Not, we don't need a lot of paint for this. All right, small art brush. It's gonna paint this white. Whoo, it smells like fire in here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was really cool. I, you know, I, again, user error, I think. So, I, but I'm not sure I would choose. Well, actually, I guess I would choose that over sanding it off in many cases because it's really hard to sand it off on something that has all those letters and like the turns and, and the little edges and stuff. So having that technique actually is really helpful. So I can't tell if that's some ashes flying around or a tiny little fly. That's a tiny little fly. It's an ash fly. Go away. I'm gonna put a quick second coat on this. So we're gonna do a black pumpkin, we'll do a white pumpkin, and we'll do some black polka dots. And we'll do a black pumpkin with some white polka dots. Because why not? We're going for more of a, this is, yeah, I'm excited about this. I am excited for this. And then we'll put like a little raffia bow on it to finish it off, to cover the little holes. Cause these little wood cutouts are actually supposed to be ornaments. Kind of, or like, you know, little things you can hang. Um, and obviously that is not how we ever use them, uh, pretty much. I made stockings once. So I guess I once used them as a, an actual hanging thing. But other than that, I never have used them the way they're intended. All right, let's put the white. Oh no, we're gonna need the white. All right, I'm gonna use the black. A touch of black. Well, that's a lot of black. Oops, it is. I'm just going to use the same brush. It'll be fine. It'll just lighten it up a little bit. Oh, too much black. Too much black. When you have too much, you just pop it back in the bottle. That's all you do. Scoop it up and put it back in. I do that all the darn tootin' time. Uh, because I overestimate how much paint I need. Well, especially when you're doing something so small. This is kind of cool because it's got some of the white still left on it. Ooh, and this only needed one coat. I think with this one, I'm actually gonna go with this look that it's getting right now because of the white that was on my brush. So it kind of has a cool look to it. We're gonna stick with that. I'm actually gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take a tad bit of white I'm just gonna put it right here on my, just a tiny little squeeze of white, put my brush in it, and just kinda give this pumpkin some definition and give it, you know, some coolness. So one will have polka dots and one's gonna be just kinda this cool little 
shading and whatnot. I'll show you in a second. I don't know, I'm just coming up with some, coming, I can't even talk anymore. We burn stuff and forget it. I'm all, I'm, I was already all over the place and now it's like, forget it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, just drying up my mat a little. Oh, here, here, I'll show you what this looks like. See, just a little bit of texture and dimension with the black one and then we'll take the white one. Nope, need black for this. I'm gonna take some white paint, some black, my gosh, what's happening? I'm gonna take some black paint, stick it on my paper towel. We don't need a ton for this. I'm gonna use a tiny little dabber from the Dollar Tree, stick it in the black paint, take some off, and then just put some polka dots on. I'm not looking for perfection here. Ooh, this looks so cute. All right, and I'll dry this off. And then we're gonna glue this whole thing together. Oh, we're gonna put a little bit of raffia bow on our pumpkins. I'm gonna layer the pumpkins a little. Oh, these look so cute. I don't love how the polka dots came out, but that's okay. It's, it is what it is. All right, I'll show you them in a second. Just drying them up. This is pretty, this is a pretty exciting Monday night, if you ask me. What do other people think? This is a lot more exciting than my normal Monday nights. Let me tell you. So. If you're just hopping on because I see a lot of people watching, say hello. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Um, I feel like you're probably going to think that I've been drinking. I promise that I haven't. I'm just really excited tonight. We had some fun with some burning and some chipboarding and some polka dots. And yes. So, hey. Say hello, tell your friends about this video. Here's one pumpkin, here's two pumpkins. Look at our cute little black and white pumpkins, adorbs. All right, they're gonna go with our whole theme we got going, all right? I think colors would've looked cute, but um, I like that the, the main color is gonna just be that background and everything else is gonna pop off of it, you know? This is like a dance, like, hey, what's up, mm, mm, right? Anybody else feeling the dance? Right? Mm, mm, no, I don't dance. I don't dance. I know you can. Not a chance. No, if I can do this, then you can do that. But I don't dance. High School Musical 2, anybody? I don't know. I've had High School Musical stuck in my head all day. I've been singing, um... Oh, now I'm not even going to be... You are the magic in me. Na, 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 na. Na 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 na, yeah yeah, na 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 na, you are the music in me. I definitely said magic the first two times, my bad. But I love that song. Okay. Can everybody see what's going on? Okay, we got a lot going on. So, we've got our two pumpkins, we've got our gather, we've got our chipboard here. This is going to be a shelf sitter, no hanger, nothing. Um, so, can I see what's going on? Yes, okay, cool. So, I'm gonna put this a little bit off to the center and then we're gonna stack the pumpkins. Love this. We're gonna glue all this on and then it'd be the boy I babysit is obsessed with the I Don't Dance song. Oh my gosh, it's it's so good. Corbin Blue is really good and so is, um is it Lucas Gabiel Gabiel? The dancers on, on uh, Disney are fantastic. Loved watching all those shows. Yes, oh my gosh, they're so... I watch, I got Disney Plus for me. Like, I'm the only one who watches Disney Plus. Um, I love it. I love it. Over the summer, I literally watched, like, I watched all the series. Like, all the High School Musicals, all the Xenons, all the Cheetah Girls. Oh, my gosh. The Cheetah Girls? Anybody. Just tell me you can relate with me with the Cheetah Girls. Oh, my God. Mm. It's Cheetalicious. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I've got my glue gun plugged in. Oh, for those of you who missed me last week, I decided to stay with my old glue gun and I didn't need to spend the money on a brand new one for no reason. So we're staying with the old glue gun and it'll all be good. I'm trying to decide if I need some E6000 with this. I want it to make sure that it stays. My E6000 has popped a hole. Um, so I literally use the inside. Love the Cheetah Girls! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's... Uh, with cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Yes. Um, obviously, Disney is my favorite. Um, okay. You know what they need to do? 
I was just thinking about Disney and then Hocus Pocus 2 because it's happening near us, the, the, some of the filming. They need to make that into a musical. They, I mean, everything is better as a musical, in my opinion. All I'm saying. Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet of you. Hey, how are you? All right, so yeah, my E6000 has popped a hole. So we're, we use the hole as where we squeeze it out from, I think. Oh, is it all sealed now? Did it seal itself? Did it seal itself? I think, I think the, yep, it sealed itself. So can I squeeze it out of here again? Let's see. I might just need to buy a new one, which stinks because there's so much in here. Yeah, this is not working. Nope. Okay. Forget the E6000, right, Krista? It needs to be a musical. Oh, I know. I just, I love musicals. Okay. Um, we're going to do the raffia bows in a second. I'm going to glue this on. So we're going to put a lot of hot glue on this because we want it to stay in place. I'm going to work rather quickly so that way the glue doesn't dry or whatever, harden before we do this. All right. Slide that down. Press it down. But Chena girls, Chena sisters. Oh, I love it. What else should we sing? Any other requests to sing? I love singing. It's so much fun. Okay. Now we're going to glue down our pumpkins. Oh, we need it. Hold on. We need another glue stick. Pro tip. Put a little on the edge, on the end of that one, before you put it in the new one so it sticks to the other one. Love doing that. All right. Did I get anything on me tonight? Nope. We're good. Score. Okay. Put some glue on the pumpkins. Put some pump, one pumpkin there. And then, all right, so we're just gonna put some, some on the edge here and some on the edge here. Whoa, whoa, we're losing, we're losing the hot glue gum. Okay. Glue that guy down there. All right, now, oh, oh, some of that blue paint is still wet. I am a mess. Look at me tonight. OMG. OMG. This thing disappointed me. It dis appointed me. Anybody a fan of the Pitch Perfect movies? Love them, obviously. I was in an acapella group in college, and the first one came out when I was a senior, so we all went as a big acapella group to go see it. That was very fun. And we were like, we can do that. No, we couldn't. We're, we were cool and pretty good, but we weren't that good. We weren't that good. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's tie a quick bow. Hit it out of the park. I don't dance. I know you can. Not a chance. No, if I can do this, then you can do that. But I don't dance. Such a good one. Such a good one. Oh, you are the music in me. Na 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 na, yeah. Na 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 na, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the music in me. All right. We got one little bow tie. I like to pull it nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna trim that up. We'll trim the other side too, don't worry. It's a little excessive. It still smells like fire in here. Well, that's that's a bit big. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Trim this up a little more. Oh, goodness gracious. My friends, I ordered, um, and it's going to be in tomorrow, so we're definitely going to be doing some projects with it. I ordered um, a bow maker because I can't, I just, I've tried. I can't do it on my own. So we're going to, got the kind with the dowels that you back and forth with it. I'm so excited. So that's coming in tomorrow. So we're going to make some really pretty bows. Okay. I got a cheap one off of Amazon. So we'll see how it goes. I didn't get the actual, um, like easy bow maker, I think is what the name brand one is called. I was like, ain't nobody got time for that. The name brand. We'll try the, we'll try the not name brand and we'll see how it goes. And I'll let you guys know, like I always do. Right. Okay. And there's our second little bow. Trim up her tails. Oh, let's trim them evenly. Holy moly, Bethany. What are we doing? 
Let's pull her tight, all right. Loosen up her loops a little and then stick a little glue on the back. And then, oh, it's warm in here, guys. Probably because I've been burning things. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Last thing. That's on and reveal time. Oh, this is so cute. You ready? Look at that. I'm gonna back up so you can see it. What do you think? I think this came out so stinking cute. You can just, actually, you can probably see if I put it right here, right, like a little shelf sitter. How cute would that be? I keep, I have a gather sign that I made kind of like this that I put right above our sink. We have two windows there and it sits really nice. Um, so this is a really nice, oh, I love this. And you know what, it's not your typical um, fall decor, right? It's black and white. So maybe if, maybe you're someone who loves, like you have that kind of gray themed house in terms of the decor, like the whites, the grays, really pretty, really modern, classic, really in right now. This would be nice because it's, it'll stay with, you know, your theme of, of neutrals, but just like a pop of that cotton blue. Oh, it's, it's a pop, just a pop of that cotton blue. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so, hey, Monique, thank you. Um, but yeah, this is cute. And I just, I really love these pumpkins. I think the pumpkins came out so divine. So, so cute. Rustic, little, little raffia, not too much. So again, like if you've got that modern home, this isn't gonna totally throw you out into left field. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anywho, so thanks for bearing with me tonight, right? We did chipboard effect. With, we used a candle to make some chipboard effect. We, we burned off the napkin. If you're just hopping on now, you need to catch the replay to see how we burned off this napkin and how I almost burned my shirt. It was great. Um, just, you need to go back and watch. <laughs> it was very funny, but so much fun. Okay, so thank you so much for hopping on with me. This was a blast. I have to go back to crocheting a Winnie the Pooh now. Um, I finished a duck this weekend, so that'll be posted soon. Doing a Winnie the Pooh, doing a bunny. I've got a Yoda. We've got a lot to crochet. Christmas is coming and the orders are flying in. So if you need something, you've got to let me know, okay? Crafting or crocheting, you've got to let me know. Super excited, all right? So thanks for gathering around the, around the Facebook Live with me tonight. Um, and I hope you all have a phenomenal week phenomenal week it's almost the columbus day weekend ish right we're almost there have the best week enjoy i will see you next monday and always remember to count your stitches bye everybody